had a, it's had a great life. I'm not saying in all cases, but again, if you're on that kind of cusp of, do I really, really need to know data flows or notebooks? Do I really need to start learning notebooks? I think you do. I, I think this is the time. Um, this is the time, whether or not you're somewhat there, not there at all. I, I don't know if there's a good argument against it, but no, I, I, I think at the end of the day though, the process stays the same in terms of we need to get our data in. There's a better way to do that now with lake houses. We need mm -hmm. to do some transformations. Maybe you do that in the semantic model, but what the lake house is and the, the, in a sense, the legs or the tentacles that a lake house has from, it can go to a semantic model. It can do direct lake. It can touch my applications. It can touch other systems because it becomes a SQL endpoint. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it makes it so powerful that the default is a lake house to a semantic model, but then you have so many other options going back to one again, when your company defines better for how you want to see your data. So mm -hmm. I, I'm a complete agreement with you here. The biggest thing I would say, I would only add to what you said that I think is really the thing that people need to incorporate into their process for better is you're no longer in the, uh, premium per user, your PPU playground. So you have to be very conscious of how many things you're creating and how complex those things are.